Now, with just weeks to go to the start of the summer school holidays, the tourist industry is hoping there'll be a relaxation of the lockdown rules to welcome visitors to our region. Hotels, campsites and restaurants have taken a big financial hit already and are hoping to recoup money during July and August. Ian White has been to North Yorkshire. Yorkshire's tourism industry is made up of thousands of small businesses. These are the reservations that we've received in the last week or so. The five-star Private Hill glamping experience opened near Moulton less than a year ago. The year was looking extraordinary. We were looking at 100% in July and August um, and 65% May, June and September. But when lockdown started, income stopped. They've not taken a penny since the 23rd of March. And with alpacas to feed and other costs, things are a struggle. But they hope they're well placed to reopen quickly as soon as the government gives the green light. We hope that the um, ability to social distance here and the, and the clean air and the, and the space that we've got will encourage people to come to somewhere like this rather than go into a more traditional type of hotel, possibly in a town um, where they're closer together with other people necessarily. On a hot sunny day in May, York would normally be absolutely packed out with tourists. There are a few people out and about in the city today, but they're local people and that's the problem. York needs visitors to make money and people tend to come to York when the weather is good. Clearly, it's an industry that focuses on the summer. So if we can manage to release the lockdown in time to salvage some of those summer months, it will make a huge difference to the uh, to the many small businesses that make up our industry. These York bed and breakfast owners say they need plenty of warning from the government before they reopen, but worry they'll still struggle to make a living. The biggest concern we have is that um, they will reduce our potential occupancy by 50% due to social distancing and also the possibility that we will have to have a 72-hour time frame between each guest. We are pretty proactive. We are thinking what can we do, how can we work our way around it um, but I think it's all a step in the dark. With foreign vacations looking less attractive for many people, Yorkshire tourism businesses hope a higher demand for UK stay-at-home holidays could be their saviour. Ian White, BBC Look North in North Yorkshire.